Welcome back, class, to White Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we're playing Dragon Age role-playing game. I almost said Origins, because I've been playing that behind the screens. But uh, we're playing the role-playing game here, and the last time was, what, two weeks ago? When we left off, we were investigating yes. what the heck was going on with the bands. There are too many of them, which may be why this module is named a band too many. That's just conjecture, though. Uh, rebuttal. Maybe there aren't enough. There's a possibility also. Thank you for your input. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Beach. Uh, so our GM is I'll Jared. in the back of the class failing. <laughs> so Jared's our GM. Uh, we're also joined by Feral Knights. We are joined by Steven Sedal. We are joined by uh, Mike. And also by Co or Other Matt, whichever he desert, wants to be called at any given moment. But either way, he's currently wearing a dunce cap. Yep. <laughs> In all of your minds, I want you to imagine that he has a dunce cap on. Let me find a picture of a dwarf with a dunce cap. That's called a gnome. <laughs> that works on so many levels, Art. I know. I'm, I'm just firing on all cylinders here. So, I have a notepad file, which I'm not going to show the audience. But my notepad file is full of my my thoughts about how we can proceed with this investigation and what seems likely or less okay. likely in terms of motives. How about you guys? Right. Did you did you guys do your homework too? Um, rebuttal. You're a nerd. Yes. <laughs> uh, my dog ate my homework. Okay, fair enough. I really hope your journal looks like a crazy person's diary. Well, I'm I'm very disappointed in all of you, except for Amek, who gets a gold star. All right. <laughs> no in-game well, value. I only want to survive this session. So. So, last time, uh, you guys were trying to find Blacktail in the woods. And that didn't go so well. Unfortunately, got your guide horribly murdered. And then he was able to escape through clever use of a spell that had previously been dismissed as useless. But that's what happens <laughs> when you have the advantage of preparation time. <laughs> Indeed. Um, and after that, uh, I believe you guys set up camp and had a nice uneventful night. And we also went back and, and spoke uh, to Tremhall. Yes, to the band, to band, yes, to band Tremhall. So you spoke to band Tremhall and to band Kroll. And we went to the city to find the B team. Or the village, rather. Yes, who you had uh, you had set to the task of redistributing the uh, recaptured wealth among the citizenry of the Banrock. Huzzah! Okay, so um, why don't you guys discuss... Yes? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um, you guys, so are you guys going to discuss anything that has happened while you're walking for hours to get to uh, Logger's World? Sure. We discuss that why. Hat. Yeah, that's what we should discuss first. So, where where did you get that hat, Aresta? I found it. <laughs> oh, I I wonder if that might might have been made out of say an exploded guide's body parts. No, that's weird. <laughs> Just checking. Did your head get smaller? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you just pull oh, your... Shoot, I'm getting a stack overflow error. <laughs> oh. Did you pull your hair back? Is that why your head looks smaller? Just because your hair is groomed? Pulled it all down into his beard. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
every time well, I look at that picture. Let's talk about something and, else. And for this exciting <laughs> role-playing encounter, I give everyone negative 100 experience. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to level one. Hey, yeah, we do level. Good job, guys. Right. Well, are you sure this isn't the Final Fantasy Eleven RPG? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Snap. So we should uh, we should chat about our thoughts about what's going on here. Well, you're you're a mage, Amic. What kind of what kind of enemy are we dealing with here? Well, it seems to be a blood mage. That's the uh, the main impression that we got. He's a blood mage who is willing to go to great lengths in order to manipulate people in this isolated region of Ferelden. It's very strange. Well, what's the best way to kill a blood mage? With a bow from very far away. And I clearly blood. have two different schools of thought here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Preferably... Oh, him? With a hammer, he sleeps. Preferably while they don't know you're there. Blood mages are dangerous. They can be consumed by demons from the Fade at the drop of a hat. Especially at the drop of Arresta's hat. I think that might be enchanted. Ooh. <laughs> Why is that? Are they tasty? Is it possible he was consumed by some sort of bug spirit? Or uh, wolf? Uh, can everybody who is not Amek make me a cunning check? Magical lore, if you have the. Oh, I I pretend I'm rolling that. because my uh, map tools still giving me crap. Aww. Wow, the rest made a good roll. The rest is rel this is relatively common knowledge. <laughs> I probably got some details yeah, about you blood mages who wrong. Rolled better than a. 10. Um, <laughs> know that in fact any mage can be consumed by a demon with the drop of a hat. Okay. <laughs> well, not me. Come on, guys. Clearly not. No, never. What? Why did you turn into a stalactite? Anyway, blood mages are dangerous. They're crazy. They like knives and sharp things. And blood. Obviously. It's right there in the name. I'm still frustrated by how he eluded us. It seems like he just walked right off the cliff and fell to his death. Well, those were fake footprints. He used magic. He went off in some entirely yeah, other we direction. Yeah, discovered that last time. Oh, I, I missed that part. Roland was too busy well, fantasizing. Roland has decided he hates. Roland, Roland has a blonde moment. <laughs> yes. Roland also decides he just hates magic. Well, I love it. Anyway, there are a number of. Anyway, there are a good attitude. Pardon me. Hating magic is a good attitude. It is oh. of the cune. It I'll is of the cune. I'll a strong blade over a sorcerer's wily cantrips every day, and he does a flourish with his sword that near him presumably nods sternly at this. The hell is a cantrip? Uh, okay. <laughs> so, we have a number of potential suspects as to who could be behind this. We need to look at them and then examine yeah. their motivations. Amek. Yes. What? Is that a book of notes in front of you there? Who's your first suspect? I've got I've got a book of notes in front of me. I'll briefly flash it on the screen. Okay, okay it's gone. I hope they f I hope they paused it and looked at the bottom half of my notes. Is it a picture of a penis? Yes. ASCII text. We're from the we're from the mushing ghetto. Well, I mean, uh, so far I can't find anyone who has a really compelling motive, or at least one that makes any sense.
I mean, it's it's tempting, or at least it was tempting for us to think it might have been Kroll, but if we really look at this... What was that? I think we're all stunned into silence at a rest of smiley face penis. <laughs> Whoa! This is all actually quite confusing to me, and I would benefit from a uh, retread of everything we've discovered so far. Well, oh my God, it's a recap episode. <laughs> He's the Watson now. Let me let me open my notes. I will read I'm from them the for you. Too, you idiots. All right, we're gonna do some exposition. Hang on, hang on to your asses. You gotta use a special voice. Previously on Dragon Age RPG. Amic has an evidence file because he's a huge nerd. <laughs> Alright, so the suspects that we currently have are Blacktail, Ban Trum Hall, Ban Kroll, the Gore Hand, and the B Team. Blacktail, we know that he was either forced into the form of a Mabari, or deliberately chose to turn himself into a Mabari through the use of blood magic and magical artifacts. He showed up out of nowhere. No one knows where he came from or when he arrived. He seems to be connected to Tremhall's mind control, but that's largely circumstantial at this point. He was there at the same time. That's all we know. He led us to the Gorehand's headquarters. Was it to help us, or did he hope that we'd be killed there? He attacked the group after we had taken down the Gorehand. Seems to indicate that he wanted us dead, as well as the Gorehand. A little bit of a double cross, maybe? We don't know. Ban Trumhall is next on the list. He's a human noble. He's been mind-controlled by blood magic, has no memory of his time as a Ban. He, was, he hired the Gorehand to attack the people under his protection while he was being mind-controlled by blood magic. He showed up a few months ago, and he was mind-controlled after he showed up to become the Ban of the region. So, so far, he's not really a suspect, but it's possible, in an M. Night Shyamalan kind of way, he's a popular, he's a popular bard down at the, uh, down at the Nod Noble Tavern in Denerim. Uh, Ban, ah. Ban Kroll is another human noble. Uh, all of us got the impression that he was a good man. He seems reluctant to take power or rule over people. He didn't really seem like he enjoyed it. Uh, he's the only person, other than the Gorehand, who has any possible motive to mind control Trumhall. So if he did, it's because he engaged in one of the most convoluted plots of all time to regain power and popularity by hiring a blood mage to mind control Trumhall, then making mind control Trumhall hire the bandits, then hoping someone would show up to kill the bandits, discover that ledger, and bring it back to him. So if that is his plan, it's got a lot of ifs in it. It's very Death Note. Uh, there's the Gore Hand, who, as far as we know, is human. He showed up shortly before Ban Trumhall. He organized. Uh, he's a highly organized and effective bandit leader. He possesses at least one magical artifact. He stood to profit greatly from the Ban Trumhall being mind controlled. If the Gore Hand controlled Ban Trumhall, he got paid by the Ban to attack the people, and then got to keep what he looted from the people as well, which is double the profit. It's still fairly convoluted, but a little less tenuous than Kroll's motives. The last option is the B-team. We've got, uh, I think they're all humans. One of them's a mage, and we don't know if he has a Templar or not. They were working for Ban Trumhall while he was mind-controlled. Uh, one question we have is, how did they get to the Gorehand's camp? Were they working with him? Was it a coincidence? Did they follow us? If they did follow us, why did they come in from the north instead of the west like we did? Prift is a mage. Um, yes. Oh, oh, they they knew where the camp was. When did they learn about that? From what I recall, anyway, when we were talking with them, I think we mentioned that we knew where the camp was, and they were like, "Oh, well, so do we," or something like that. Was that the logging camp or the bandit camp? I thought it was. Oh, yeah, maybe it was the logging camp. Hmm. Yeah, we talked to them before we even checked out the uh, actually the fake uh, bandit camp. So we don't. So if we said that we knew where it was, yeah. Go so ahead. we don't oh, know okay. <laughs> how they got to the Gorehands camp. They may have known. Uh, we know that Prift is a mage. We don't know whether or not he has a Templar. So he could be a blood mage. He could be an apostate. We don't know. We don't have enough information. 
if they are responsible, why would they have helped us capture the bandits? And why wouldn't they have helped Blacktail kill us if they were working against us in the first place? Uh, so, so far, no one has a thoroughly convincing motive to mind control ban Trump Hall, at least according to my evidence file and deductions. But that's just me. I only have two cunning. <laughs> and that's the highest cunning in the party. Thoughts? Well, hmm. Emic closes his notebook crisply. Well, it seems to me like we should at least interview the V-Team because they're the only people that we don't really know a lot about. It's true. They're also and... the only ones we haven't spoken to yet. It's true. And in addition, Arresta needs to see his wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? His wife, Shadow. Maybe she yeah. knows oh, what. Right. Uh, maybe she knows what she evil knows lurks in the hearts of men. You can't simply decide a woman is your wife. That's a noble's privilege. Mm, that, uh, I'm a noble dwarf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> oh, we. All right, all right. We're, we're, let's see. Is that communication? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you had a roll perception to beat me, Mike. Please, but that please, should, you that may would only kiss apply my to, ring. That would only apply to dwarven woman. Wow. <laughs> Maybe she is a dwarfish woman, suffering from gigantic really <laughs> Everyone else is rolling their eyes. <laughs> but, uh, good idea. Let's go talk to them. Maybe we should each speak to one of them individually. Like, if only you had the empathy. If only you had the empathy, uh, focus, then you wouldn't have fallen for that. <laughs> Only Roland gave a shit about other people. He might be able to see how full of crap they are. Pretty much accurate. Maybe we can uh, interview them separately. No, let's some, interview them all at once. Under some pretense. Oh, well, you know, whatever. Just a thought. Like, what kind of pretense? Like a cone of silence? Can you cast that? <laughs> no, we <you> can't. <laughs> No, I, I only have this cone that I was going to put around my dog's neck before he ran away. Ah, oh, that poor dog. Yes, poor dog. But um, he's at a he's at a farm now. Wait, isn't that what isn't that what <laughs> they, uh, Aresta was wearing on his head? They pet him every day. <laughs> the cone of shame. <laughs> That's good. I love it. But uh, what I would recommend we do, let's find the inn that they're all staying at and, in the Dwarven tradition, climb through the window at night. <laughs> Why would we need to do that? <laughs> we want to surprise them. Do you want a distraction going on while we have that happening? They'd be pretty distracted when I climb through their window. <laughs> <laughs> That's very accurate. That's true. <laughs> well, it is getting dark by the time you guys get closer to Logger's Old. Is it on fire? No. That's that's a good sign. It's the first bit there's of good no news you've everywhere. Had. There's no bodies everywhere. There's no abominations menacing Yet. everyone or anything. Is everyone leaving Isn't footprints? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or glance at Amek. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I, my brain is strong. I've got two willpower and self-discipline. So, uh... probably be a pride abomination. Which is the <laughs> worst kind. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd be a desire demon. Oh, yes. Hey, boys. There is something about a man well, who's... Desire uh... abominations don't look like that. They just look like the regular abominations. Hey boys, and I am not lured in. Might, he might grow boobs, <laughs> but anyway, might not be in the right place. They might not be on his chest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I want to be on the face. 
Right. Village. In. Neck boobs. Oh my. Village. So you're arriving at the town. It's getting dark. What do you do? There's only one... It's not even an inn, really. It's where that girl's like from, right? Run by an old couple? <laughs> Basically, no, it's the it's a tap house. What it's, do they have on tap? Uh, it's the same place you were at before. Yeah. What, the one with the daughter and the, yes. the guy? Yes. Ah, so Roland's wife. No. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's an alehouse. There's no private rooms. Um, you can well, you can sleep on the floor. All right. Let's, let's see if they're in there first. I'm gonna go check in. Okay, you guys head inside. Um, Lewin, the manager, looks uh, much happier than he did before. Great. Now that he's gotten his wife's his wife's ring back. We're so uh, good. The, the daughter is happily, you know, moving from table to table, and there's more people in here than there were the last time you were here, when there was nobody, because everyone was, you know, sitting dead? there giving up on life. No, it was no, the other yeah. place that everyone was dead. That was the logging camp. This yeah. is the town. That was the logging yeah. camp where everyone was dead. Uh, it all bleeds together for our rest of Orban Senality. <laughs> it's that horrible, horrible brain injury that also makes him talk like that. <laughs> it's true. You, anyone that laughs with that accent is laughing at a functional retard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <sighs> <sighs> anyway. It wasn't me this time. Enchantment? <laughs> no. Okay, so, anyway, anyway, so. Are they here? It's better. Yes, they are not there. They're not here. Not here. Oh, let's go right. ask the barkeep. Are they? Yeah. See if he's seen them. All, all casual, like. I wasn't very casual about it. I just outright said it. <laughs> he's the bad cop in this counter. He just like <laughs> grabs the guy by the labels and is like that, pulls him over the bar. The bad cop isn't the incompetent cop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that is a meaning of that. Give the jump as like as as uh, Aresta sort of loudly <laughs> demands where the where those other adventurers have gotten off to. Okay, my is wife. It, those, those three. Oh, um, I'm, I'm not really sure. I think they might be on the other side of town at the moment. Is there anything on where, the other side of the town? They? They've been staying around just in case any uh, you know any more of those bandits show up. Right, right, good. No. Did I they heard some pitch of the a gang tent? got away. Hmm. Did they ever bring that bandit here? The one they captured? Oh yes, we 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 uh set some men to take him over to the band. To Trump Hall? Who else would be the band? Just checking. Uh. You know, in my old age, sometimes I, I get forgetful. Okay, thank you. Where okay. Whereabouts on the other side of town are they? Oh, they're probably out by the... Uh... He suddenly had to look something up. Do, 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 do. Do, do. <laughs> <laughs> Do, 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 do. They're over by the Chantry, I think, last I heard. Oh, my favorite place in the whole oh. village. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the Chantry. Let's all let's go, go to right the now, Chantry. Right let's all go to the Something Chantry. Go. Let's Can't. all go to the Amic. Chantry and get Amic. ourselves some blessings. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here I was going to sing, get ourselves a Templar. We've got one already. No, no, we don't want to go to the Chantry. Into the ground. <laughs> All right. So you guys head over to the Chantry. Uh, Prift is nowhere in evidence when you get over there. Interesting. But Shadow and uh, and Hawk are hanging around. Hello, Shadow and Hawk. Arresta, yes. Arresta respectfully removes his dunce cap. Hello. 
How how goes the day? Uh, when when Aresta respectfully removes the cone of shame, <laughs> uh, Shadow leans towards Hawk and says something, and she laughs, and he just kind of chuckles once because he's kind of serious. So that fondness that she has uh, for I'm her wayward roll, husband. Uh, I'm gonna. You're gonna roll Dwarfish it first. Hearing. Wow. <laughs> he's definitely wow. listening. He's what do you what, what do you dwarf what do your dwarf ears hear at? Well, he needs to have good hearing because you know living underground. Of course, yeah. Exactly. Uh, got a, he's got yes. echolocation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she said something disparaging about your height and headgear. The cone goes limp. <laughs> That's the sound of a dwarven heart breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Arista keeps the tears in. <laughs> we shouldn't laugh at his pain. When dwarves cry. This is what it sounds like when dwarves cry. Oh. Since Hawk is pretty much the quiet guy, Shadow turns to you. Well, glad to see you all made it back in one piece. Although, really, there was... <laughs> less risk to you than there was to us. It's true, you're a terrible thief. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he just... <laughs> we wanted to check... is getting really tense and awkward. Oh, we wanted to check in and see how you she were doing. Good. She seems kind of upset at being called a thief. Well, you know, you gotta call a spade a spade. It's like a gotta call a dwarf short. <laughs> Damn. And I must call for Eldon's dogs. Oh yeah. Speaking of, let me roll another perception check. She knows that he knows. Arrest is looking she? for any marks on their necks. No unusual marks on their necks. All right. So she's Shadow not has taken. some tattoos, but that's it. Where are the tattoos? Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, side of her neck going down under her top. Is it a wasp? What kind of tattoo is it? Uh, it's a totally sweet tribal tattoo. What kind of it's tribe? It's actually from a tribal culture. Right, the Avar. She's yeah, let's, Avar. let's perceive her... Wait, we don't have perceive. Yeah, we, we do. do. It's perception. I just rolled it. She knows what her chastened. Yeah, she's an Avar. <laughs> did, did you just say Norn? No. No. Oh. Well, I just perceived that. <laughs> Good job. She's human, as far as you can tell. Excellent. Just how rest the Really, life. they all kind of oh. look the same to you. <laughs> it's true, they do. <laughs> Arrest, Arrest is just like... Angry at Hawk for <laughs> batting his eyes at earlier. Hawk. <laughs> they're all just kind of tall. They're tall and gangly, and can't even they're remember. Quite pale. Under the sky, when you know anything, like they might fall off at any moment. It's true. The rest of us saw that once. <laughs> mm. That was the event that changed everything for him. Yeah. Well, yeah, basically, Am Amek and Kaneth are pretty much the only ones who would really know what the Avar are. Of our would we? To everybody else, it's just kind of like she's a human female. I mean, to Roland, we went in for Alden to the Barbarian. Uh, we we're just wondering, you know, if you've uh, if you've seen Prift recently. Oh, Prift! Yeah, he went to the Jakes. Oh, wonderful! He doesn't really like being around the Chantry, you know. I can't imagine why. The Jakes. That's slang for washroom, isn't it? Is it? He's horrific to deucing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think he's just deucing. <laughs> well, you, you guys have fun here with Shadow and Hawk. I'm going to go uh, talk about mage stuff with Prift. <laughs> 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 All right, sounds gay. You, you going to powder your nose? No, it's, your hair. it's just <laughs> secret mage stuff. You you, you guys wouldn't understand. <laughs> Fluffy beard. <laughs> give, give the beard a fluff. 
<laughs> you know, oh, okay. mana, magic, staffs, you know, lots of staffs. <laughs> I can't wait for you two to be side by side at the urinal comparing staff. <laughs> Best way to grip a staff for your arcane lance, you know. It's more of a wand, really. Oh. I, I I've got a quarter staff here. Three more of those, and you better look out. <laughs> Amic is gonna wander Terrible. off to look for Prift. All right, so Amic leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the rest of you standing there awkwardly. Alright, the rest of excused himself to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Well let's let's ask them some questions then. Let's uh All right. let's ask him how they managed to track their way to the real bandit camp. We followed you. I don't leave any footprints. <laughs> Not anymore. You did at the time. I'm pretty sure I never leave footprints. <laughs> yeah, you do. We're back at Arresta's brain damage here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would uh, seeing if they're lying be a perception empathy check? Yes. I don't have empathy, but it'll be perception. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tell us the truth. They seem legit. Not too, too legit. legit. To quit. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kenneth can't tell. <laughs> I've never met more honest people in my life. Kenneth is staring at a wall. <laughs> Can I make her AI more is stuck in a bad loop? Amic made a good point that they came in from the north rather than the west end of the camp, so could I make a, uh, perhaps spending some of my stump points as possible to make a military lore check to see if they, if it made sense for them to do that? Um, yes. Yes, you may. Damn circling around to attack a target from a different side? Hmm. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Alright. That's what we do the ground with the dark spawn. Ask them about Prift's death bar. <laughs> Probably true. <laughs> yeah, I guess the next question we should ask is uh, about his Templar. Is what? Yeah, is Hawk the Templar? Hawk just kind of like looks at you and shakes his head. He's Shadows not a... legitimately not have any idea what you're talking about. Oh, snap. And Kaneth, are you paying attention? Am I done staring at the wall? <laughs> sure. Roll me uh, cultural lore. Cunning. Uh, cunning. Uh, hmm. um, we were talking about poison. This wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> you think you're you're like you're pretty sure that of ours don't really like send people to the tower or know about the tower or care about the tower they all kind of uh... they live off on their own basically oh they're all of ours she's an of our he's not but okay. he just kind of like he just kind of when you ask about it it's, it's his look is less like what are you talking about and an are you stupid <laughs> Oh, kind of, you know, well, yeah, they don't really send their mages to the circle, so if he's from Avar, then it's quite possible they don't know what the hell we're talking about. Okay, let's cut over to Amic. Amic, Amic. shakes twice. It's hard to find the uh, 
It's not hard to find the washrooms, the outhouses. Um, the smell gives the them away, dreams. and the flies. Mm -hmm. Perfect environment they for like an interrogation. Latrines. And you run into Prift as he's emerging from one. Oh, hello, Prift! Hey there. How are you doing today? Amic, right? That's me. Pardon me. I just wanted to chat with you for a moment. Wait, who has the caller? I do, do. Oh, that's right, Rolano. Dang it. Dramatically <laughs> He's using hoping it it'll as have a some Prince Albert. <laughs> he hopes it'll be so, like a dramatic daring scene, but it never is. People just stare at it. Like, oh, what? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I was just uh, curious if you knew anything about that Mabari that we ran into. No. I only saw it briefly once. We saw that he was wearing a collar that seemed to be keeping him in that form. Is that any kind of magic you're familiar with? No. No, of course not. Should I roll a perception check? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Perception empathy. I need to get better perception. And I'll roll one for my dwarvish ears. No, he's way too far away for that. <laughs> he sure is. He's... No, he's not, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> way too far away for that. Um, he seems like he's hiding something, but he doesn't seem like he's lying. Hmm. So, where are you from? Rasta. <laughs> and his lack of social graces, even though I believe he has the etiquette focus. Dwarven etiquette. <laughs> yeah. He smashes it's about the, the right. It's about the right time to stab someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, does Prift have tattoos he's or anything? Keeping his physical distance. He's, he's keeping his physical distance from you. No, he looks. Uh, like, he he would not stand out on any street in Ferelda. Okay. So is he not answering me when I asked him that? <laughs> and then... <laughs> Save that role for later. So, he claimed you didn't know anything about the magic. And then you said... So where are you from? Me? Oh, you know, Danarum. Cool. I hear they have a lot of markets there. Where yeah, did you, uh... The biggest city. Where did you find your Templar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My Templar? Yeah, you know, big Why, bloke. Where did you find yours? Oh, I uh, I found him up in the free marches on a business trip. Roll. I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Okay, why am I rolling 2d6 and not 3d6? Too late. Not much better. <laughs> he he nods slowly and takes a step, a, a very subtle half step back from you. Uh huh. Did he say where he found? He didn't answer my question. He didn't answer your question. No. <laughs> <laughs> the question around on you, and then you lied, and he bought it. Amic lowered his eyes, brows. Lowered his eyes, lowers his eyebrows ever so slightly. 
So then, you're an apostate. <laughs> no. Roll perception. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tensions mounting. It's like an episode of The Wire. What am I thinking? Not having secret but audible die rolls. <laughs> no, he's not an apostate. Hmm. Interesting. Is that his answer? He says, no, I'm not an apostate? Or apostate? Yeah, you asked him if he was an apostate. He said, no. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm just curious. You, can tell he's the truth. you run into all sorts out here. You never know when you're going to meet one. I'm just curious because we're trying to figure out who's responsible for a fairly vicious blood magic spell that we found recently. Blood magic? Yes. Scary stuff, eh? I wouldn't want to mess with anything like that. Did you happen to notice anything when you were hanging around Ban Trump Hall? I know you met him before we did. I noticed you seemed like a... like the kind of noble that a place like this could actually use. Yeah, he does seem that way. Young, proactive, go-getter. Unfortunately, he was being mind-controlled the whole time. What? That's true. I found the residue of a blood magic mind domination spell on him. It just wore off. We're not sure why. I thought I'd see if you had any thoughts. Frankly, if there's a blood mage involved, I want to get out of here as fast as possible. No, blood mage isn't something you've tried before? <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> Are you are you going to test his assertion? Did he so answer? Popular, everyone's doing it. Yeah, yeah I didn't hear an answer. He said no. Did oh. you? Oh, okay. I will test his response there. I really need better perception. He's lying through his teeth, isn't he? As far as you can tell, he's telling the truth. Oh, never never dealt with the stuff myself. Too gross. Good. Squeamish too, you know. I don't want to be stabbing people. Once you become a Maleficar, there's there's no coming back. Hmm. I know. It's very sad. Anyway, we should probably head back to meet with the others, eh? Uh, all right. I'm just gonna walk back to the others at this point. All right. He walks back, although he keeps his distance from you. Can't imagine why. <laughs> Keeping that careful, careful eye on you. So the mage has come back. Sorry, can I, while we're walking, stealthily use my magic ability to see if he's under any spells? You can try. Okay. Mage fight, mage fight. Oh, come on. Uh, make a deception check, too. Okay. Damn. Crift, what is your perception? Crift, why don't you have any, like, really good focuses? Okay. He doesn't notice you doing it, but you don't really detect much of anything. 
All right. It's hard lying and walking and He's checking all at once. It's definitely a mage. Does he have blood? That much you were. <laughs> uh, you would assume so because he's alive. Yes. Yes. That seems a logical. It's a logical, logical I don't know, progression. A, a zombie masquerading as a live living person would have been a pretty cool twist. You never know. No zombies in this really can't get away with that. <laughs> How did you know he was a blood mage? Well, he had all these cut marks all over his hand. <laughs> He wore a lot of long sleeve shirts and gloves. Most blood mages prefer to use other people's blood. Yeah, the wussy ones. We can so tell by the collection back. of Linkin Park songs in his and uh, the, iPod. The awkward uh, grouping out in front of the chantry. Oh, we're having a great time. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Did you two compare staffs? <laughs> I think they're called staves. Oh, either way, no. Joseph no. Blonde. That wouldn't be a, a noble pursuit no, for a mage. Makes sense to look around. We all just respect that everyone's he staff says is their he's own. He's really worried he'd come in second. <laughs> Every mage's staff is unique to him or her. Oh, okay then. So, um, we yes. sort of we we confirm this guy has no Templar, right? He doesn't seem to have a Templar now. Yep. Yep. Can we openly point this out to Amic? Yeah, I will have to use the uh, the Quinlat word of uh, Sarabas. Does Amex speak Kunlat? Maybe. No, but he can fake it. I mean, he might recognize the term sorry, boss. I do have that lore skill. Alright. It's not going to be easy. So basically, um, Amex is turning and speaking to... Or, uh, Niram, you're turning and speaking to, uh, to Amex in Kunlat. Is what you're doing. Anyway. Just that one word. Just I don't think word? he'd actually know the word apostate. I don't think they have a word for apostate. It's Sarabas. Sort of, isn't it? That's just their major word for mages. Yeah, it? that's the word yeah. for mages. I don't it know also means one Cindy Lauper. Like dangerous <laughs> something. Dangerous animal. Yeah. Dangerous being or something like that. Yeah, right. but the thing is, I don't think okay. they have apostates per se. Cause, uh, you know, just... No. Uh, so, cutting. Yeah, cunning, because it's there's actually a cune focus and a cune lat. Language. There is. Yeah. Cune Latin. Cunning. Is me doing cunning? Yes. He's just saying a word. Right. That you don't know. <laughs> Aww, I got a stun point. I it got stun points. Come on. <laughs> if it had succeeded, you would have gotten stun points. It sound whatever he said sounds threatening. Oh. But everything in cune lat sounds threatening. Fair enough. It's like German in that mm -hmm. way. You're not sure what he said, but he sounds mad. <laughs> Amic blinks. Fact, every, the the other three kind of like look at him, take steps back. <laughs> I will add gruff uh, gruffly that his tongue should be removed from his mouth. Is it still oh. in Kunlat? <laughs> 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 no, speak, that's common. <laughs> you're speaking the common tongue about Prift. Damn. And I thought Arresta even, had no communication. <laughs> even Rolan looks a little bit surprised. Like, man, even Prift, I even I haven't managed to make him that angry. Prift takes a step back again. And uh, Hawk and Shadow sort of step in front of him. Keeping himself My... between Niram and the mage. Right. I'm not going after him. I'm just stating that it should happen. That's not my job, though. Oh, why? Why are you saying that? Not now, dwarf. Because yes, he is sorry, boss. What does that mean? Speak English, you fool. <laughs> what is English? I don't know that. Oh, <laughs> what do English means? 
It's, uh, it's the Dwarven Tongue. <laughs> Warman Tongue? <laughs> oh. The old dwarven -y. The old Dwarven. But anyway, uh, are you saying he's one of them mages without Templars? Oh, and now I'm Scottish or something. <laughs> <laughs> What's <laughs> Scottish? Well, nobody's perfect. Uh, but in anyway, fact, yeah. Amic, you know. In fact, Amic, you know that he is not an apostate. I think I know he's not an apostate. He said he wasn't, and he seemed to be telling the truth. That's true. He does seem super trustworthy with all of his keeping a physical distance and stepping away from me. <laughs> well, to be fair, <laughs> you came up and to him and were like, so, how about that illegal magic? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, you came up to him like a drug dealer. It was like, hey, you have a trap, blood Want to buy some blood magic? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid. <laughs> It's free. I got some watches too. Anyway, uh, I will agree with what uh, uh, RSS is talking about and mentioned that uh, he doesn't have an Arvored. None of these people have any clue what you're saying. Not at all. <laughs> I'm injecting uh, linguistic yes, uh, drama. Yeah, here. you're you're helping to reinforce the cultural barrier that exists between Niram and the rest of the characters. Oh, I think he meant Templar. <laughs> that would be a cunning check. <laughs> uh, I think I need to roll this. Ah, <laughs> uh, he still means Templar. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure that that's what he must mean. Just by process of elimination. <laughs> Emic turns to... But if I'd rolled a two, I would have been like, are you hungry? Yeah, basically. Amic turns to Prift, looking wounded. You told me you had a Templar. Told you I'm not an apostate. Hmm. Which Circle. I'm not. Well, fair enough. I just uh, normally expect you, you to have a Templar going around with like that. Like yours. Yeah. One from the Free Marches. Yeah. <laughs> So what what are you then if you're not with the circle and you're not a one of them wild guys going Who's enchantment? That I'm not with the well, are you? Yeah. Well, okay oh. then. I guess we're done here. Oh. <laughs> that that's. Uh, he's lying. He's got to be lying. We're not getting any roll good it. rolls roll though. It. Roll it. Ah. We can't perceive shit. It's okay. He's gonna roll sneak eyes. Uh, he seems to be telling the truth. Damn it, Roland! Why yeah, didn't you try to perceive? Or... As far as all of you can tell, he's telling the truth. Man, did you roll like a fourteen? He's not gonna tell us. As far he's as not. you can tell, he's telling the truth. <laughs> all right, screw this. I'm going huh. for it. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. I'm going to say, look, what guys, let's stop dancing around the issue. We know what's up. Why don't you just come clean? Stop changing my focus. That'll definitely help. <laughs> yes, we know you pinched off the goods. That's not, no. Come clean. Okay. It's so vague. Amic, Amic, you want them to come clean. You're keeping it vague in the hopes that they will confess some actual crime, some actual crimes. That's the hope. I'm trying to bluff my way through it. Okay. All right. And wow. It sounds like a bad wow. Okay, uh, Shadow breaks down immediately. <laughs> Whoa! Arrest is there to grab her. <laughs> no, not like that. You're right, you're right. Oh, it's so good to get it off my chest. 
I'll bet. When I was five, I stole a pie from my mother. Then she starts laughing at you. Uh, I need to see if she's lying about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth. She did, in fact, steal the pie from her mother when she was five years old. Oh. <laughs> see, I was right when I called you a dirty thief. I don't know what that <laughs> Bit off a bit more than you could chew with the accent, huh? Well, you know, I like to get my mouth full. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, we're, we're working through this week. Everybody's getting in trouble this time. <laughs> well, okay. Arresta starts laughing also. <laughs> All right. But no, no, really, she says when she turns up, what, what are you trying to accuse us of? And Hawk and Prift are just like rolled 20s. Jerks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we have the wrong people. We have to we eliminate to all possibility. It's all a bluff. I'm really quite emotional. At this moment, Shadow is basically acting as the spokesperson for the group. <sighs> Fine. Since she's the one character who is, does not have in their description, is very quiet. Fair enough. Hmm. Amic shrugs. Well, we're just trying to find out where this blood mage came from who is trying to control Ban Trum Hall's mind. Can't be too careful, can you? I think we should just tell them everything that's got going on. I just did. No, that, that, that was more. You know, one revelation at a time. Oh, right. I Chris see. Chris actually does speak up at this point. He says, if there's, if there's a blood mage involved, we should leave. All of us, we should get out of here. That's just what a blood mage would say. <laughs> you have no idea what a blood mage would say. You've never met one. <laughs> as far we? as you know. Haven't we? Wink. Important. Big Look twist. I can't wait until we go find that bard from earlier and rough him up. <laughs> yeah. The famous bard. The villain all along was the heir. With Karen for his verses. M. Night Shyamalan, the famous Denerim bard. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! Amic was dead all along. <laughs> so that's why my robes have been soaked in blood. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, or maybe it's because so... you're a blood mage. Maybe. Yeah, so why why do we get out of here? Just because there's a blood mage. We've killed worse. I, I, I doubt that. Oh. Time to name drop, fellas. Are you asking or telling us? I'm, I'm telling you because I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Again, it's the brain damage. It is. It's very in line with my role play. Well, we've already dealt with Mithalan, and we dealt with the Gorehand. If there's a blood mage, it should be dealt with, not escaped. It gives the rest of us a bad name. Worst well, name. Maybe we just need to rally up the town and execute a search party for him. Yes, blood mages aren't exactly, exactly popular. <laughs> hey! A witch hunt is exactly what Amek does not want. <laughs> What does Emmett got to hide? He's a, he's a clearly legitimate circle mage. Yeah, as we've established, and I'll never need to roll for that again. Uh. <laughs> yeah, like every time he's tried, he's rolled like a 24, and that's not even possible. <laughs> that's because one day he's going to roll really badly at yeah. the worst possible time. It's going to happen. Everyone's, In the chantry. everyone's waiting for it. <laughs> like, surrounded by Templars. <laughs> Be like... The, the Templar Knight Commanders <laughs> meeting. You're in, you're in the Circle Tower. <laughs> it's, gonna wind, it's gonna wind up like the Monty Python Gwang scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Exactly like that. It's a fair cop. So. Do they have they, any... Uh, Drift in particular does not seem to want to stick around. If there's a blood but, on the loose. But were they impressed by our accomplishments? No, because they have no idea what a metallon is. The, hmm. the abomination. And look, I've got boots that don't leave any footprints. Are they impressed now? No. Mm, tough crowd. They saw you steal them off the Gorehand's body. <laughs> well, I mean, there are... Sure did kill that guy. <laughs> there are eight of us here. You'd think between eight competent adventurers, we'd be able to find one blood mage and handle it. We'd be doing something good for the people of, uh, of this area. You know, it's a community service. Roll persuasion. I'm going to now. <laughs> roll it! I did! Why do you even ask him to roll? Because someday I'm going to do because. a really bad one. And because this is a roll game. He feels better. <laughs> After combats where he feels bad. <laughs> After combats where he kill steals. <laughs> Amek the boss crusher. 1d6 damage. Um, alright, they were reluctant at first, but uh, Hawk nods first, and then Shadow, and then Prift kind of sighs and then fine, we'll help. So these guys are probably not well, you behind can help it. By turning yourselves in and admitting your crimes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're agreed. We're not going to admit to things they didn't do. <laughs> I think. Well, okay. Uh, now there are eight of us, and one of him, and we still have no idea where he is. No, I, th I think in the or morning. Where he is, or what his motives were. In the morning, it might be a good idea to uh, either check with Kroll or go and interrogate the bandit that's been brought to Trumhall, assuming he's still alive. I think those would be two options. Maybe we could, maybe we could split up and do both. Hey no. gang, let's no. split up. Split the party. <laughs> no, that that always ends badly. All right, so Roland is Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, okay. damn it! That Amic, makes Kane. That Amic makes Kane is Velma. Uh, Arrest is is Velma. No, Amic <laughs> is. No, Amic yes. is pretty clearly Shaggy. <laughs> Then by process of elimination, I'm Scooby. Scooby. I, I'd, I'd say that Amic is closer to Velma and Arrest is closer to Shaggy. <laughs> I don't know. Amic does seem kind of stone most of the time. Maybe it's just that picture. <laughs> He's just smiling. Yeah, that is a very drunk picture. <laughs> but where is our mystery mobile? If there's horses, horses, we can never ride. <laughs> exactly. There's horses you will never, ever be able to ride. Ever. We just port Burabantha over from a galaxy far, far away. Oh, there are yeah. no banthas. <laughs> he, crashes, he crashes down from the sky in a ball of fiery flame. Killing He's all of you. <laughs> the end. And so, uh... To battle. You know, party convention. What, what do we think Good we should Toronto, do? Though. What are the two things we were deciding between again? Either go to see the bandit that was brought to Trum Hall's camp and see if he has any information, or go and talk to Kroll and see if we can... I don't know... See if he's involved in any way. It seems unlikely, but you never know. It seems mm. unlikely. That's true. I say we uh, do the bandit first. Same. He is Agreed. the loaf. Alright. All right. Let's get some naps. Okay. okay. Yeah, it so is guys, nighttime, I think, so yeah. You guys sleep on the floor of the alehouse. Comfy. It's a public it's house, it's pretty common. It smells like beer. Not really. Oh. It's very cl It's very clean. It will by morning. Uh, the <laughs> Arresta the there. Around Arresta, it definitely smells like beer. <laughs> now, is that just because the floor gets so much beer spilled down it, or just because Arresta smells like beer? It's because Arresta smells like beer. Okay. He, he, is carrying he also he also smells like beard. 
Well, as we true. beer and the disappointment of all of his ancestors. As we so, drift yeah. off to uh, <laughs> off to sleep, I'm going to end this episode, <laughs> and we can get started again in the morning after I press F11 twice. <laughs> okay, I ended that one. <laughs>